呢？Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be a review of episode four of season eleven of The Walking Dead. So, spoiler alert if you're not caught up to season eleven. Overall, good episode. It introduced us to the Reapers, to the leader of the Reapers, Pope, and of course, we get to see Leah being revealed again as part of the Reapers. This was her group before she left. And they came back to get her, and she went back with them because Daryl had left her. She was a mercenary along with the others in Pope's group. But Daryl was tracking one of the Reapers, and he ends up getting caught. He sees Leah and Dog. She pulls a gun on him. Some more Reapers come around. There wasn't really a fight at this point, but they capture Daryl and take him back to Meridian. As a prisoner, we kind of see things happening, how they're treating him. He's counting how many of them there are. Leah's talking back and forth with him about stuff. And we see that Frost is captured as well. And Daryl's successful in letting him know, hey man, I'm trying to play this side of things over here, so act like you don't know me, and I just kind of came in and was trading with your group, that kind of thing. So even though Daryl looked Leah right in the eye and said, I've never lied to you and I'm not lying to you now, of course he was, he conned the Reapers by saying, I just met those people. They were talking in code. I don't really know nothing about them. We traded some food and stuff, and that's about all I know. I just want to go my way. Of course, he gets tortured and stuff. They're trying to get information out of him, and he does eventually give them a little bit, just some names, nothing much. So during all of that, also, we learn that Leah is very much liked by Pope. There's almost like a father-daughter thing. They've known each other for a long time. All these people, really, most of them anyway, have been together a long time, actually. But the fallen comrade we learned through Leah was like a little brother to her. So she's very sad about that. And Pope says, we're going to get some revenge on these people. So it ends up Pope is going to test him and puts him in a building, sets it on fire with Leah inside as well. And of course, Daryl saves Leah first and gets out himself. Pope seems to think he's an honorable dude and lets him join. Seems pretty simple. Then Daryl and Pope sit down and Pope tells him the story of how they came to be. They were mercenaries. After the fall, they were stuck in a church that a fire consumed the whole town except the church, so he considered them the chosen ones. And as far as sitting on the couch when Daryl heard that line, I might have laughed out loud and, and they would have killed me. But Daryl kept his cool the whole time. He kept his lie in place all the way to the point where he was accepted in the group. Out by the campfire, Pope didn't like it that one of the guys got stabbed in the back or injured in the back, that just means he had his back turned toward the enemy, and that's unacceptable. Even though the fight might have been 360 and he was facing the enemy he was fighting, someone else could have come up behind him and stabbed him. I mean, come on. You don't burn a dude's head off for something like that necessarily, in my opinion, but hey, this is the show. And I don't think, and Angela Kang in one of the interviews said that Pope doesn't usually kill his people, but he needed to make a example out of this guy because he thought, hey, we're about to go fight these people and we're going to run at them. We're going to face them. We're not going to turn our backs. And that's pretty much the episode. I mean, in a basic nutshell, we learn about Pope, Leah, the Reapers a little bit, how many of them there are, their backstory, stuff like that, what happened to Leah as far as in between times, and Daryl made it all the way to the point he pretty much joined the group. So here we are. Daryl's going to take it from the inside while the rest are going to try to take it from the outside, of course. Maggie, Negan, possibly Father Gabriel are all on the way. And I think that's all the ones that are left besides Alden, now that we know Frost is in the cage. Definitely setting the stage for the next few episodes. Looking forward to them. You guys let me know what you think about this episode down in the comments below and I'll join you there. And look for my review of the trailer for episode 5 coming up after this video. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.